Ulrika Jonsson is one of many celebrities who have shared their opinion on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's new Netflix series. The first three episodes dropped on the streaming platform earlier this week and the remaining three will be available to watch next week. In what has been shown so far, the couple talk about their life in the royal family, press intrusion, racism and their relationship. Prince Harry spoke out about the racist undertones and outright racism in the press that has been directed at his wife, particularly in the early stages of their romance. He claimed that the royal family didn't understand why Meghan needed to be protected from the media and paparazzi intrusion. Elaborating, he went on to say that the palace urged them to not to say anything in response to stories written about them. Tina Turner says son Ronnie left the world too early aged 62 the Duke of Sussex said, so, it was almost like a rite of passage, and some of the members of the royal family were like, my wife had to go through that, so why should your girlfriend be treated any differently? Why should you get special treatment? Why should she be protected? I said, the difference here is the race element. The couple are expected to go more into depth about their time in the royal family when the new episodes are released, but Ulrika, 55, already believes it's a step too far. Sharing her opinion in her column with The Sun, she said, Harry and Meghan's public denouncement and criticism of, mainly, the royal family is a step too far, even for a die-hard, objective, hard-boiled family expert like me. I guess it's because they're not imparting their honesty directly to the people concerned. They've instead chosen to take the far more financially beneficial option of speaking their truth to Netflix. If only that was an option for all of us. Wouldn't that be grand? It's not the first time Harry and Meghan have spoken out about the his family. Strictly's Anton Dubeka says he wishes career took a different path, revealed Stacey Dooley says she's a moron in hospital gear amid baby arrival, latest high to high actress Ruth Maddock dies aged 79 after accident, RIP, last year, the couple opened up about why they decided to step down from their senior royal duties in January 2020. In a bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, Meghan said she felt suicidal while a part of the firm and was declined help. She and Harry also claimed that an unnamed family member had concerns about the color of their son Archie's skin. In a rare statement after their interview was aired, Buckingham Palace said, the whole family is saddened to learn the full extent of how challenging the last few years have been for Harry and Meghan. The issues raised, particularly that of race, are concerning. Whilst some recollections may vary, they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. Harry, Meghan and Archie will always be much-loved family members. The second trailer for the pair's Netflix series was dropped this afternoon. It includes footage from the couple's 2018 wedding including their first dance, 